What I'm gonna do is we're going today, Andrew here, and today we are playing Minecraft. But today we are busting several myths in Minecraft. And also, you're probably wondering why do I have a stick in my inventory? Well, let me show you why. All right, you'll probably be like, it's probably just a regular stick, no big deal, huh? <laughs> right? Well, no, you're wrong. Because you're like, it's useless, you know, right? But look, this stick kills a zombie in two hits, and it also has fire aspect and knockback, so it's pretty powerful, you see? Booyah! Actually, actually, yeah. Um, but you get the point. It's powerful. So, today's myth, or the first myth that we're going to be testing now, is, is summoning Siren Head. Yes, that's right. We are summoning Siren Head. So, um, yes. Um, let me pause this. Hold on. Alright, guys. Hope you guys are ready to see me spawn Siren Head. And this is the Builder's Edition. Don't worry. So, the first thing that you will need is a redstone torch. Yes, you you will need a redstone torch. And then you need a block of diamond. Yes, you need a block of diamond. And you need brown concrete. So, want to know how you do it? Well, here's how you do it. So... Hold on, I need it to be dead. So, you place the br brown concrete. So first you make like this symbol with the, with this, like with the brown concrete you make this shape. And then with the blocks of diamond, you go like this. There, and then, the next step is to place the brown concrete, just three there, and and you will also need a sign that says, hold on, let me just type it in, and instead of the three brown concrete blocks being high, it's actually a diamond block and a brown concrete so you have to type in siren head no spaces between siren head and then next line put in spawn and then when you're done place that and then it should work and this is for Xbox One. And also I'm zombie hero brand. Rah you can see. Hold on. See? Rah. The glowy eyes. I'm hero brand. The zombie version. And at any time Siren Head should spawn in this Minecraft world. Said it took like a minute. I'll I'll resume when Siren Head spawns. And also, while we're waiting, um, we should just, I'm just gonna clear my inventory. So let's throw all that out and just wait for Siren Head to spawn. Oh, is Siren Head that zombie? Yeah, no, he isn't. I know he isn't. But, um, Siren Head should spawn. I did all this correctly, right? It says Siren Head spawn. <coughs> Do you like spawn somewhere far away from this world? Like somewhere far away uh, around. Oh, I see him in the distance. I see him, he's getting up. Um, 
Okay, yeah, Siren Head, it worked. He's just getting up from his nap. Obviously, there's no sound. Um, why is there a creeper here? Uh, and while we're waiting, why don't we, um, uh, enchant this stick? Or knock back fire aspect. Let's see, use this. We can use it against Siren Head. And yeah. Alright, yeah, and also let's spawn a zombie. So here's what this stick does. Oh my gosh. That was, oh my gosh. That was just, that was just super fast. Yeah, Siren Heads is getting taller. Yeah, he's taller now. I think he just woke up from his nap. Yeah, it even works on other mods. It even works on players. It also set catch it make some catch on fire anyways um yeah it sure will work anyways our next myth is gonna be spawning um slenderman so um yeah um while we wait for siren head to wake up and come near let's uh build a slenderman one actually no let's next let's do harold brian Let's do the shrine, Harold Brian. <laughs> First thing that you need is a block of gold, a redstone torch, a flint and steel, and also, and also, uh, where is it? Um, and also netherrack. Oh my goodness. Um. So the first thing that you need to do is do this. So first thing you have to do is place a 3x3 three by 3x3 three, three by three gold blocks then place another rack and then place four redstone torches in the middle of like one redstone torch here one another here another here and the last one here and then the last step is to light it and Harold Brian should spawn and use the flint and steel and put it on top of the nether. So it's been a little bit and Herobrine hasn't spawned. But that's okay, he probably spawned somewhere else in the world. And yeah. So we have Siren Head spawn. Like, I bet Siren Head has spawned. And, I mean, Siren Head has spawned in the world. And Herobrine has spawned in the world. So, um, so yeah. Oh, it looks like, it looks like Siren Head moved. So that means Siren Head worked. I'm not sure if Harold Brian worked, but all I know is that the Siren Head thing, it worked. And he's somewhere in this world. Don't know where, but we spawned Harold Brian, maybe there Maybe Siren Head and Hero Brian are are fighting, and Siren Head detected Hero Brian, and he and Siren Head moved and ran. So yes, that is how you summon Hero Brian. Um, but um, I'm not. Sure. I'm not sure if it actually worked. I, I actually, you know, yeah, it, it did work. Yeah, it actually worked. Go. Oh my goodness. All right, but anyways, yeah, we have summoned Herobrine and Siren Heads. Next thing that we're gonna summon is, um, you know, yeah, next we are going to summon a uh, Slenderman. Yeah, Slenderman. But... Uh, I'm 
not sure. You want? I think yeah, we will summon Slenderman. They're just Siren Head and Harold Brian have spawned in different parts of the worlds, and yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna do, just on a way, is like, what's this doing here? I'm gonna place a sign that says Herobrine Herobrine Spawn Herobrine Spawn mm -hmm. Alright and there so people know that this is Herobrine Spawn like Let's just say people are like, oh, what's this? Like, what are this stuff? Siren Head Spawn? Okay. Herobrine Spawn. So, I wonder where Herobrine is. Wait. I think I see Siren Head. on you but after all I am zombie hero brain but the actual hero brain like you know what let's change the skin to an iron golem now you can see I'm an iron golem I've actually always wanted to be an iron golem but this is oh you're probably wondering what's all this stuff up in the sky well it's actually a sky block like I'll sometimes soon I'll do a sky block, like a one block sky block, you know. Um. Yeah. But um. Let's break. Let's break that block, cause um. Yeah, we'll be stuck there. Stuck there, but that'll be a different video. Yeah, it'll be a different video. But way, way. I actually don't know where Siren Head went, but um, yeah. It seems that my myth worked for Siren Head and Harold Brian. Actually, now I see Siren Head again. I see him in the distance. That's what. Can see his enormous siren head. Um, but anyways, anyways, it's super cool busting the myths, and uh, yeah. So yeah, that is a siren head and Harold Brian myth. How to summon him for Xbox One edition? Oh no. Oh, it didn't burn. Like it, the fire didn't go away. Well, Harold Brian, guess I'll see you soon as an iron golem. Rah! Anyway, the next myth is Slenderman. So, yes, let's do it. Wait, I think I know one way how to summon Slenderman. Slenderman. Um, so, go to create. Go to Halloween World, and I would go under Creative. Obviously, I'll do Host Privileges. So, um, yes, I'm, yes, I'm doing the Halloween version. So, um, yeah. And, uh, go to Enderman. And it worked. Slenderman is in the game. You see that Slenderman? That is actually pretty scary, but there is one way to summon Slenderman. It's actually the easiest way, but yeah. Wait, let's see if Slenderman can defeat an Iron Golem. I'm actually super happy because I've always wanted to summon Slenderman. What? What are you doing? All right, um, there's Slenderman. Uh, boring. boring, but that is actually one way to summon Slenderman. 
this going the Halloween edition. And yeah. Then in the Halloween world and then, you know. Just just yeah. Hello Slenderman. Oh, I just hit Slenderman. Dude, my game's glitching. Uh, yeah. Hold on, I'll be back. So my game keeps glitching. Like it glitched because I hit Slenderman. But that is obviously one of the ways to get Slenderman in the game. You know, just do the Halloween world. And sl create, obviously... It'd be easy, but just be sure to, you know, do the Halloween world and get the Enderman egg. You see, um, Enderman and then Slenderman will appear. Um, let's just see, can I hit him? Yes. Slenderman is an Enderman. It's in his name. So, um, if you ever want to spawn him, just use the Enderman egg. And, you know, I think, I think we should name this, um, Slenderman egg. Slenderman egg. Slenderman spawn egg. Just be sure to do that. And this is only for like Xbox One edition. So you see Slenderman? Yeah, that's him. Slenderman. Actually, I hate that name. I'm not Slenderman spawn. How about just plain old Slenderman? So that's one way how to spawn Slenderman. All right, thank you. Okay, and here we have the Slenderman egg, you see? If you look above him, it'll say Slenderman. That is actually the most, that's actually the easiest way to summon Slenderman. But uh, yeah. So that's actually one of the only ways to summon him, but, but, yeah, I recommend that way, because then you can, you know, spawn him anytime. So that's one of the ways to spawn Slenderman. The other way is to... Let's go back to the other world. So yes, those are the three ways you can spawn. That is the way you can spawn Slenderman and Siren Head and Herobrine. So yeah, those are the best ways. And wow. And the creeper is a ghost creeper, which is kind of kind of spooky. And the zombie. Oh my gosh, it's green flame. I love it. Um, and the skeleton, it looks like that's Mr. Bones, obviously. Let's get the bones, bones. And, yeah, that is actually, my favorite one is the Enderman in, um, in Halloween version. Because then you can summon Slenderman anytime, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope to see us guys in the next video. And yeah. And as always, peace out, my dudes. Woo!